It's the 29th of July, 2022, and I'm taking Apollo on the coral ride. Uh, just to give him something different to do. He's been doing quite a lot in the indoor school. So I think it's nice to mix things up a bit for them to keep them fresh in the mind. Right, so we're setting off, Paulo and I, at 22.11. So hopefully Apollo will enjoy his hack out. He hasn't been on a hack out for a couple of weeks, so hopefully he'll enjoy this. I've swapped over to the other camera so we can compare the two. Right, so a little trot on. Go over. There's a little drain here, so I always sort of like to start off after I've got over the little drain. Not this big drain, but you can put your foot in it if you're not careful, can't you, Apollo? <laughs> so you just you might just see there, that's a little dip there where there's a drain. I think it's just filled up actually over the years. It used to be worse than that. And, turn, right? horses are very different and which is good because then you never compare one is better than the other because they're just totally different. to wander in that field. He is. <laughs> Just doing the coral ride, Paul and I. So that'll take us about 45 minutes. A 
Polo is selling his white brushing boots because he never wants to wear those again. And he did say to me that uh, he would give somebody a bag of carrots if they'd take them away. However, I explained to Apollo that he might be able to get three bags of carrots for them because a lot of horses do like to wear brushing boots because it stops them getting injuries. So there they are on eBay if you would like to have a look. There is a link below. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. Very quiet. Because Polo has shoes on, his hoof um, falls are more noticeable, aren't they? They're, you can really hear his, his footfalls, because he's got his metal shoes on. Fruit's much quieter. It's harder for a polo on these routes with him having bigger feet. So you've got more surface area to get a wobble on over um, routes which are not flat to the floor. <laughs> because he could stand on two routes, whereas Farouk may just stand on one so he doesn't sort of tip about so much. I 
just wondered if he was going to turn around that corner. No, come on, Apollo. <laughs> just dawdling all over the place. Don't you? You know which way we're going. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Hello. Walking on. Good boy. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So when Apollo and I get back, he can have a little handful of grass nuggets. Um, Apollo has got quite a lot of weight on, so he hasn't to have too much dinner. But I do always like to give him a little something. Either a polo or a few nuts, just to say, well, thank you for taking me out, that sort of thing. Um, but we have to be a bit careful with Apollo, because he does love his dinner. And he is stuffing his face with grass down a big field because he's had very little to eat on the uh, paddock and he's had to have hay supplemented and of course as soon as they get into some grass they just hoover it up it's like they've never had food before in their lives so they immediately stick it all on don't you yes you do particularly because you've got a large appetite haven't you Polo? If you're interested in purchasing Apollo's brushing boots, he'd be very grateful to get rid of them. They are on eBay and there is a link below. If you would like to catch up on some of our older videos, just click on the Apollo icon which will take you to our home page. We have over 1700 videos to choose from and you can sort by the most popular, the oldest or the newest. Thanks for watching. TTFN.